we're called to lead in new ways, to work together, to stand together. And today, I'm proud to say our nations are answering that call. First, we're elevating our trilateral defense collaboration to deliver an Indo-Pacific region that includes launching annual multi-domain military exercises, bringing our trilateral defense cooperation to unprecedented levels. We're doubling down on information sharing, including on the DPRK's missile launches and cyber activities, strengthening our ballistic missile defense cooperation. And critically, critically, we've all committed to swiftly consult with each other in response to threats to any one of our countries from whatever source it occurs. That means we'll have a hotline to share information and coordinate our responses whenever there is a crisis in the region or affecting any one of our countries. And today, we've reaffir all reaffirmed our shared commitment to maintain peace and stability in the Taiwan Straits and addressing, ec and addressing economic coercion. We're going to continue to counter threats from the DPRK, including cryptocurrency money laundering to the tune of billions of dollars, potential arms transfer in support of Russia's brutal war against Ukraine. And together, together, we're going to stand up for international law, freedom of nav navigation, and the peaceful resolution of disputes in the South China Sea. 